Hello, my name is Dr. Ella Osborne. Congratulations on starting your Invisalign journey here at Seaport Smiles. This quick video is going to review what happens the day you receive your aligners. At that appointment, you'll come in and we'll prepare your teeth with a little polish and a little gel. We'll place little attachments on your teeth that are little chameleon-like buttons and we'll secure them with a special light. After that, we'll teach you how to take your aligners in and out, give you a kit that has all the tools that you need to succeed, and set you up with our remote virtual monitoring system. Now we're gonna review how to take care of your aligners and some common questions. The first one is, how do I clean my aligners? The best way is to brush them with a little soap or water or toothpaste, uh, ideally after every meal if you want to keep them very, very clear. You can also use the cleaning crystals that come in the kit or denture cleaner solution that you can get at the CVS or Amazon. It works very well and you can do it once a day to keep them optimally clean. Another common question is, what can I drink with my aligners in? You can drink water and you can drink clear liquids that will not stain your trays. Trays is another word for aligners. A good rule of thumb is if you spill something on a white shirt or your carpet and it stains, it will probably stain your aligners as well. Stained aligners are no less effective than perfectly clear ones. They just don't look as invisible. When you receive your aligners, it's normal to have some discomfort and maybe you can call it pain um, afterwards. It's very normal and it's what we want because it means that your teeth are starting to respond to the force and move. You'll feel some tightness with the very first tray, possibly even two or three days. And you can classify that as soreness. Every tray after that is usually just tight and doesn't really cause any kind of discomfort. A little bit like Spanx, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, after that, once in a while, you may get to a tray where you feel a little bit of pressure, extra pressure, like you did with the very first one. We're often doing different things in treatment during different times, so it's very common to have different levels of discomfort throughout. There's nothing wrong and you're doing very well. What should I do about the discomfort? So I always say, why tolerate pain if you don't have to? So it's perfectly reasonable and encouraged, if you can, to take some Tylenol to help manage that mild discomfort that you may feel. Patients often want to know if their speech will change with Invisalign. It's very common for the first few days for there to be a slight lisp because there is a different materials now on your teeth and your tongue has to adjust. The lisp can be minimized by making an extra effort to enunciate and to speak as much as you can. You'll normally adjust within a couple of days and speak perfectly normally very soon. Another question we sometimes get is, can I smoke with my aligners in? Well, we discourage this. Um, we discourage smoking in general. Cigarette smoke with aligners in will discolor your aligners very much. Um, they become yellow, stained, not aesthetically pleasing. So if you must, Please remove them, but of course we encourage you not to. What happens when I finish my first batch of aligners? Towards the end of your first batch of aligners, when you've got a few left, we'll have you come in and we'll take an updated scan of your teeth and some photos of your teeth and your face. This is so that we can track your progress and order an additional set to further refine your teeth, your smile, and your bite. Sometimes there are multiple sets and it's all part of the game perfectly normal and we achieve the best result this way for you. So do I need to do anything special now that I have Invisalign? The attachments on your teeth are cleaned just like your teeth are clean. So you wanna make sure that you brush them well, um, just like your teeth and you floss uh, between every tooth. There's really nothing different with having Invisalign um, as opposed to just regular oral hygiene. You just wanna make sure that you're thorough and that you brush and floss after you eat before you put your aligners back in. Why do I need to brush and floss after eating before putting the aligners back in? This is very important as you wanna clean your teeth before you wrap them up again. If you wrap them up again and they're covered in sugar, residual food, that can start to cause cavities or issues. So you wanna make sure that you're very thorough. This is very important. Our patients are very active and they love to play sports. 
Contact sports are great fun and you can leave your aligners in when you're playing any kind of sport, even swimming. You may have to wear a mouth guard over it and we encourage you to do that. And you can do that with no issues, any mouth guard um, that you can get at a store. Always remember to wear your aligners at least 20 hours a day, ideally 22. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water before removing your aligners and before putting them back in. When you first take your aligners, brand new aligners out of the package, it's best practice to give them a little rinse with water before you place them in for the first time. So do I still need to go to the dentist while I'm with Invisalign? Absolutely. Everything is the same. Your oral hygiene is very important. So you wanna to continue to see your dentist and hygienist for cleanings every six months and complete any treatment, if any, is indicated by your dentist. How to take your aligners in and out. So aligners at first can be a little tight. So we provide you with a special little tool, a little hook that helps, which is very useful at first. When you are going to remove your aligners, you wanna start on the inside in the back and hook and pull up a little and away from your teeth. And pull away from the attachments across until it's removed. To put your aligners back in, you want to do the opposite and start in the front. Push down and then work your way backwards. When placing your aligners, it's very, very important to do something called massaging the attachments. Massaging the attachments is critical for the efficacy of your aligners. And what that means is, with your thumb and forefinger, you quite literally squeeze the teeth, especially those that have attachments, to make sure that they're locked all the way down. You want to squeeze from the top down to the bottom, past the attachment to the gum line, and really make sure that they're fully, fully engaged and you wanna do this with very active pressure. We always say that when you're massaging your attachments, you're getting a very, very deep tissue massage, not a gentle, calming one. Why is this so important? It really engages your attachments and your aligners and puts the most amount of orthodontic force that the aligners can give. This is critical if they're gonna do their job to their fullest extent. To help the aligners do their job, it's also very important to use something called chewies. Chewies are little rubbery plastic cylinders that you use to help seat the liners all the way down. You want to use them every time you put your trays back in and for a few minutes. The best way is to start in the back and work your way across back and forth six times. That's one. Why are chewies so important for the efficacy and success of your treatment? Chewies and massaging is critical because we want to make sure there are no little gaps between the clear liner and your tooth. If there are bigger gaps, that means the tooth isn't moving with the tray and we want to make sure we eliminate it right away um, and that is where chewies come in. If you receive a message from us that says, use your chewy more, it means one or two of the teeth still need a little bit more time to move and chewies are a perfect way to help seat the tray all the way down so that you can go on to the next aligner and keep going strong in your Invisalign journey. So what does it mean if you get a no-go from us? A no-go just means that your aligners and your teeth need a little bit more time together. Usually it's one or two teeth that just need a little extra time in this particular aligner to work. Usually it's certain teeth. It's teeth that are second from the middle on top. They're called lateral incisors. They don't like to move, but we make them. The way that we make them move is by watching very closely through dental monitoring and making sure that every tooth is ready to go on to the next aligner. So once in a while, the back of the tray comes apart a little bit from the tooth. It has to do with the way Invisalign makes their aligners. There's nothing wrong with your treatment or your trays. There's a simple way to fix this. So when it happens, it looks something like this, where it just won't sit all the way down. 
In that case, all you do is take the tray and bend it quite literally 90 degrees. The Invisalign material is very strong and flexible. So it will not break, but it will bend a little bit to help the tray sit all the way down in the back. Help, my teeth don't fit together anymore like they used to. Well, of course, removing your teeth and very often that involves changing your bite to get a better, healthier one that will serve you long-term. But the process can be challenging. We're very used to our bites and the way our teeth come together. As we move your teeth, as the Invisalign moves your teeth, your bite will change. Things will feel different. It is very common and expected. It is difficult, of course, so we just have to be very patient and understanding. The way that your bite feels today may be different from how it feels tomorrow or the day after. Stay with it, trust the process, and if you ever have any questions, we're always here for you. I want my teeth to move faster. So biology is different from technology, but we do have ways to augment and improve your own biology so that teeth can move either more predictably in cases that are very challenging or faster for patients that really want to get done as quickly as possible. Propel is a procedure that's completed in the office under some light local anesthetic, the kind of numbing you get if you have a cavity at the dentist. Uh, Propel activates the local biology in your mouth where we make little pokes um, and really makes things move a lot more predictably and with less resistance. It's our way of tricking your body into thinking it's a teenager so that it'll move as quickly as possible. One of my attachments came off. Once in a while, one of the attachments can pop off a tooth. Sometimes it's good practice to have it put back on straight away. Sometimes it's perfectly fine to wait until your next regular Invisalign appointment to have it replaced. Because we're always watching you from afar, very often within a few days at your next scan, we'll know that you have an attachment off. You can also always send us an email and let us know. We'll find out what attachment it is and then we'll check against your plan to see if it's a critical attachment at that moment in time in your treatment or if it's something that we have to support the changing bite or an attachment we may need later on. So let us know and we'll let you know if you need to come in for a quick little appointment or if you can wait and we can replace it at your next visit. The day you start your Invisalign treatment is gonna feel a little bit like your birthday. You're gonna get a lot of fun toys and I'm gonna go over all the things that are gonna be in your kit. The first is the way we watch you remotely. These are little cheek retractors that go in your mouth like this, like a smiley face. There's a way for them to adhere to the scan box as they are magnetic. The scan box is the way we can have very, very good pictures of your teeth um, so we can monitor you. We will set you up with an app to help you do this and many other toys as well. The next thing that you'll find is a little pouch from Invisalign with a box. In the box is your Invisalign case, which is also magnetic. We always say your aligners are in your case or in your face. There will be some cleaning crystals from Invisalign to get you started. You can get more on their website or you can use some of the other methods that we talked about, like dental cleaner solution. You will also get a personalized kit from us that looks like this. In the kit is everything you need to troubleshoot any kind of discomfort that you may have. First, it is the aligner removal tool, the little hook that makes it much easier, especially at first, to take your trays in and out. You'll also find a packet of chewies, and we've just discussed how to use them. You'll find a nail file. This nail file is to adjust any rough edges in your aligners. This is very common once in a while. There's a part of the tray is a little sharp, and you can use this just like you would do on your nail to make it smooth. We also have 
some orthodontic wax. It's uncommon that patients need it, but we do provide it because sometimes it helps. It's quite literally almost like gum. You take a little piece, soften it up in your fingers, and wherever you may feel some discomfort from the aligner, you can cover that part of the tray with a little bit of wax. It's okay if you swallow it, it's meant to be used in the mouth, so it's healthy and safe. And lastly, we have some dental floss with a mirror on the back side. It's designed so that you can see yourself and check out your teeth to make sure you don't have any food stuck in them if you're out to eat somewhere and you have to put your aligners back in. Lastly, you'll also get all of your first set of aligners. There'll be one, two, three, however many boxes, all of the first batch we give to you right away. So your aligners will come in a series of boxes in little pouches. The little pouches are all numbered and sequential and attached to one another. On the pouch, there's some important information, but most importantly, there's a QR code so you can download and install your customized MindVisalign app that helps you and walks you through everything. There's a little QR code right on the bag. Your name will be right here, how, the number of aligners that you're on and how many you have in the first batch. And you scan the QR code and it will take you to the app and there are many wonderful resources. You can also track your aligners and take pictures there as well.